have Katrina Saltaki, chair of the CCNSO Council, and Alejandra Reynoso, who is chair of the CCNSO Meeting Program Working Group and also a council member for the Latin American and Caribbean region. So we'll talk today about the work of the CCNSO, and let me first ask a question to you, Alejandra. Yes. So can you tell us a little bit more about the country code name supporting organization? Yes, the CCNSO is a body within the ICANN uh, organization that uh, is uh, built by CCTLDs for CCTLDs. Mm -hmm. uh, it, its members are very diverse. Uh, they uh, do their business differently from country to country, from region to region. Mm -hmm. uh, they also are uh, very different in their organizations. They can be public entities or private entities, academic or governmental. Mm -hmm. And because of this, we know that one size does not fit all. And the purpose of the CCNSO is to find a place to uh, nurture consensus and mm -hmm. to support each CCTLD. Mm -hmm. So how can CCTLDs then actually contribute to the work of the CCNSO? There are various ways. They can contribute, they can join uh, working groups. Uh, they can, uh, if they are members or, of staff uh, of the CCTLD, they can join also discussions through emails. Mm -hmm. And they can come to the ICANN meetings and be within the CCNSO meeting days, either as participants or as presenters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. <laughs> so, Katrina, can you maybe elaborate a bit on what the challenges are for the CCNSO, the Country Code Name Supporting Organization? Oh, the, I think the main challenge is uh, how to manage to do everything uh, that we have on our plate and uh, uh, you know do it on a good quality and uh, always provide feedback and provide the results on time. I think that's one of the challenges because uh, I think that uh, our community is not unique in the respect in that respect that it's getting more and more difficult to get volunteers because this is all the, the work is based on on volunteers mm -hmm. the more volunteers we have the more we can do uh, so uh, for us it's really a, a challenge to find uh, volunteers because Many people are already involved in the work of the CC and SO and the work of ICANN, and they contribute a lot. Uh, but uh, it also has to be noted that, uh, well, as Alejandro already said, uh, CC and SO is a very diverse group of people. In each uh, country, we have a CCTLD, a country called top level domain. Uh, so there are many countries and there are many CCTLDs. Of course, uh, for many of them, it's quite difficult to come to ICANN meeting first. Well, if, you, if you're a newcomer, it's really difficult to understand uh, what to do mm -hmm. and, and how to get involved. Yeah. And for that, I have to uh, thank Alejandra for taking the initiative to prepare the onboarding document for the CCNSO. It, and I believe it will be helpful, not only for the newcomers, but also for uh, those regular attendees of our meetings. Mm -hmm. Uh, and another another issue is that uh, well, we do not have many uh, native English speakers. So for for mm -hmm. most uh, most of our uh, members, English is a second language, and mm -hmm. of course it's also uh, a challenge to, to to understand and then probably write and and talk. Well, actually, I must say that um, CCTLDs are they are very good. Uh, their English is excellent, but. Uh, you know, they're still very shy, so mm -hmm. we need to help to them to overcome uh, this, uh, their, their you know, shyness, perhaps. And then, really, uh, what's important is it, it's their experience, their knowledge, and their willingness to contribute, mm -hmm. not the language they speak. So. Understood. Yeah. So, you, Katrina, you're the chair of the CCNSO Council, and maybe you could tell us a bit more about what the next work items are on the agenda of the CCNSO Council in the next months or maybe even in the next years? Well, there are many things that we have started and we keep uh, working on them, but uh, I think the uh, most important uh, thing for many CCTLDs is uh, the current ongoing uh, work on the policy development. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a policy development process we started um, uh, last meeting in, in, in uh, 
Copenhagen. Copenhagen, yes, <laughs> thank you. Uh, and uh, yeah, this this will consume a lot of time, a lot of effort, and uh, I'm glad to tell that there are many volunteers from different CCTLDs mm -hmm. who applied and are uh, willing to you know, take the challenge. And, uh, good, good to hear. Oh, we're very happy too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, so that will be the main item. Uh, that's uh, that's yeah. definitely uh, the most important one. Uh, but uh, we're still uh, are participating in other activities as well. Okay. Uh, thank you for, uh, for this interview and much appreciated. Thank you very thank much. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you.